Monday the 13th of January 2025. Now the title of this video was going to be called chat how do we make friends and it's motivated from this idea that the process of healing involves substituting hyper independence for making friends and kind of being more social but obviously being in my 20s that's kind of like a lot different from like when i was in school but then i came across this poem on like instagram reels and i really liked it and it was basically this lady and she was kind of saying you're worried you're not going to find love and she went on to list like a bunch of things so she you always run after strangers after they drop something when you see babies you always smile and you wave at them you write small businesses positive yelp review reviews she called them you always make small talk with uber drivers always tell the yoga instructor at the gym the class was good it just goes back to this idea of kind of like trusting the self like who you really are to be able to deal with and cope with all these things that the other less authentic and less truer versions of you diligently plan for and diligently anticipate that that self is going to be able to handle all those awkward embarrassing and aggressive conversations and it's going to be able to you know when the time arises you know make friends as well so anyway our day starts off at 10 30 a.m at ground cafe i got coffee and i was writing for about half an hour and so that took me to 11 a.m at 11 a.m and thought i'd treat myself to another coffee and start my work start my work on quantum mechanics b for my final exam um, and at 11.30 had, I had to leave Ground Cafe because I felt like I needed to get like some sunlight and just step out uh, So I came here, came for a walk around Canal Side and then I headed into the library Library doing another st study session on quantum mechanics and Yes, it's our final exam On my way out I bumped into uh, Ali which was kind of nice Quantum is the only module where I can actually learn it in class Because it all makes sense for some In class? Reason. Yeah, oh. in class I actually understand everything Nothing makes sense to me in class. Oh wait, I got to turn it around. I tried to turn it around. Well, that was nothing makes sense time. to me in class. In space time, nothing made sense to me in class. Space time was the more, more, more. Uh, I think it'd be better if we got like this. It was more not intuitive. Um, okay. Quantum mechanics is this is harder. Better, yeah. Quantum is definitely easier than space time. Okay. Uh, unlike what people think. People think quantum is really... easier than space time. Yeah, I would definitely say so. Quantum. Yeah, yeah, space time yeah. is the hardest. Space time, I didn't know what anything physically meant. I feel like cosmology was the hardest one no, so far. Yeah. Come on, bro. How cosmology did you find cosmology? Was so much easier. Cosmology uh, was super easy. It was easy, but like, it, it was easier to understand, but it was harder to do. I can understand why you say that, but once you get <laughs> the hang of the Friedman equation, you'll find. Uh, so anyway, two o'clock comes and now it's time for the gym. Now, Hello everyone. So this is our special guest number two today. <laughs> it's nice to see you back at the gym though. Yeah, I've been, here. You okay? I haven't been here in two weeks. Yeah. So. I saw him last week. He was um he was out of it. <laughs> yeah. Now, now he sick. looks better. How are you? I'm you doing okay. okay, yeah? Yeah, I'm really fine. I've just finished one of my exams today. This feels weird, sorry. Yeah. I'm trying to listen, but like, it's just, yeah. I still can't get... Well, at the gym, I was talking to this guy. It wasn't Daniel, it was another guy, but... And my conversation with him was kind of like out of tune. Like it wasn't awkward I'd say but it's, it was more like out of tune. Like I noticed there were certain times where like he was finishing the sentence and before he had the chance to finish his sentence like I was already like interrupting him. And I was thinking about it and I think the reason why I was doing that is it kind of comes from that like underlying fear that like if I don't make a good impression on people they're gonna leave right? Like they're not gonna want to be friends with you. It's like abandonment issues right? Then, the, But then the thing is when you're in that state of fear this other part of your mind kind of like jumps in and it, it kind of becomes hyper vigilant of these kind of like social cues and as a means to protect you it will try and like it will do these things to kind of like keep the other person entertained but there's a problem with that and the problem with that is is that it's no longer you speaking and then like what i've noticed is is that this other voice that kind of like jumps in to protect me like it isn't really listening and and being present like for instance like i'll like i'll ask him something like how are you and then like he'll be talking and then like i'll go on to the next thing right because like i'm just so eager to keep that other person entertained i'm just constantly trying to keep them entertained and reasons why the conversations are a little bit dry is because when this other voice comes in it's asking things about that i don't really care about for instance i'll be like how are your exams like i don't really care about exams not in the rude way but in the sense that like i've been studying exams and when i speak to people i don't want to then be talking about exams like i'd rather ask 
like how was your holidays because then like I could talk about my holiday and I had a really nice holiday so I, like I'd, I'd like to share it so I'd be more engaging like the conversation will be better but the thing is that other part of you that kind of jumps it just attacks this person as a means to keep them entertained with these questions that you don't even care about like how are you how are your exams and you're not even listening to them you're just kind of saying thinking like oh yeah and then like you're just gonna think of something else to say to ask them to kind of like keep them entertained so you're gonna be out of tune the conversation is gonna be dry and you know you you're just gonna bring about the thing you fear anyway so i left gym i didn't want to go into library straight away so i kind of like sat outside and enjoyed the last few minutes of sunlight i saw some few people ate some blueberries and then i went into the library and then when i went into the library i was journaling a little bit but it wasn't really journaling it's just me kind of like writing down some of the stuff i'm telling you now and some of the stuff that kind of like triggered me it's just so that i can get more efficient at recognizing them and therefore more capable at managing them it's also good because it kind of like brings me down to earth and it kind of like stops my mind sp spiraling out of control so it's a good way to ground me anyway then i said to bogdad who i was sitting next to i said to him Do, uh, i'm gonna come khf and then he came with me so we went to khf he was complaining about the burger and he was saying it wasn't very good it was okay but like, i didn't feel responsible for him enjoying his meal so you know i am getting better i was like i didn't ask you to come you wanted to come if you didn't like it not my fault you know not in a rude way obviously but anyway he came back to library and now i got a study right so working on quantum mechanics b the paper is on thursday just doing these exam questions a little bit monotonous a little bit boring uh, with these exam questions it's because i feel like the pressure hadn't mounted because i still have kind of like four days to complete it so just working in the library with Bog. it was nice because the previous week bogdad wasn't in and i was in the library quite late uh, some nights so it was nice to be with someone although i don't know why he was making like grumpy faces on the video so i think in conclusion to summarize everything it's like that scene from Thor Ragnarok was it where Thor looks at Odin and he says I'm not as strong as you and Odin replies no you're stronger that kind of conversation between the self like who I really am and those other voices that come in to protect that self right and it's just about giving control back over to that self and trusting that the truest version of me will be able to handle it like I don't need to be more social I just need to be more me I don't need to practice social skills i already have them i just have to it, ju it just has to be me who's doing it and not these other kind of like parts of and it's just a matter of asking those other voices to kind of like stand down and what are you protecting and what you're protecting can you allow that to come out and can you trust that to kind of like lead but like the self is already valued so if someone rejects the self it's okay the self can handle it because it doesn't see that as a indication of its value while those other voices they take over because because of like rejection because of like abandonment and so forth and whatnot so yes yeah, so it's just it's just understanding that like whatever happens that self can deal with it just it just these pigeons man are everywhere oh my god <laughs>